for everybody, in order to be successful, there are five steps that you go through, essentially. That everybody has their goals. They, what is their goal and the passion? So you have goals. And then what happens is you're going after your goals and you encounter your problems. Okay, so encountering problems. And then the big difference between people is how they approach those problems. People who get bummed out by the problems um, don't learn from them. Who learns from them? So those who uh, recognize that problems are exciting, that they get into those you know, problems or mistakes. Mistakes are learning experience. The pain that comes from that mistake. Every time you have pain, it's an indication that something's at odds. And so the people who have the pain are the people then who will go into that, realize that if they solve that pain, solve that problem, understand what that is representative of, not just the one problem, but that problem is a certain type of problem that will happen over and over and over again in your life. And if you can solve, how do I deal with that kind of problem? And so diagnose, the third thing that everybody needs to do is if they have problems on the way to their goals, that they diagnose those problems and they get to the root cause, the real root cause. The real root cause is often, is typically what people are like. Can you go to what you're like? Can you go to your mistakes? Can you go to your weaknesses? Right? Can you go to other people's mistakes and weaknesses? Some people, because of an ego barrier, can't do that. And so if they don't recognize their own mistakes, their own weaknesses, uh, or others' mistakes and weaknesses, what the root cause me, being what they're like because of ego barriers, if they can't go there, they're going to repeat those mistakes. They're going to have them over and over again. So it's the process essentially of saying at that stage, what am I like? Everybody has strengths and everybody has weaknesses. The weaknesses are the other side of the strengths. So let's say if you're uh, you know, a right brain, creative person, you may not be reliable because just the way you think necessitates you to think a certain way. That means you can't think in another way. That means you're going to keep bumping into that thing that's standing in your way. But unless you can embrace, I'm not reliable, <laughs> all right, and deal with it, you won't get around it. It's still going to continue to be a barrier, right? So the diagnosis to the root cause is, is, is important. So then... Um, if you diagnose it, then you have to design what are you going to do about it that works. So um, let's say you are uh, very creative but not reliable. Okay, you have to find a means of, it, first of all, embracing that and then saying, um, if I'm not reliable, what do I do? Do I work with a reliable person? Do I learn reliability? Do I have some compensating mechanism? Because I can't let that lack of reliability stand in the way of my goal. As long as I keep doing that, I'm going to keep running into problems. It's the mixture of the elements that matter, right? And if you have a tremendous tenacity, but you're, you're studying, you're learning, you're trying to memorize and remember everything that you're being taught and you're really trying hard, you could have great tenacity. You need the making sense of some, something. You need to embrace reality. You need these other dimensions, right? So the... I think the things that uh, w we started to talk about just before, the, you know, the things that um, these people uh, have a need for is, is first they need to most fundamentally make sense of things, which is a very different kind of learning process. It's a very internalized learning process. It's not a memory-based process. So none of these people, unlike the population as a whole, none of these people have a desire to follow instructions. For most people, you, you, you go to school, they tell you what class to go to, um, they, uh, what classes to take. This goes all the way through university. They, they do this, do this, do this, and then you go into the class and they say, learn this, and this is the information, and it's largely a memory-based, instructional-based process. This is not what these people do, right? This is not uh, so the path, what they, what they have in the, is a strong, strong desire to understand and make sense of reality. How does reality work? Okay. And then, so they're all uh, very independent, thinking, um, and, and, and rebellious. 